Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video which is very easily summarised as Berlin gone wrong. Now I was supposed to be flying out to Germany for Berlin Marathon but let's just say I didn't even get there. So my journey begins with Angelo, we were making our way to London City Airport. We were actually on different flights so I waved Angelo off and proceeded to wait in the airport until my flight later that evening. I really hope no one comes in and I'm like vlogging casually in the toilet but oh my god this airport is so busy, literally. Um, Okay, I feel like there are so many updates and things I need to say at the start of this video. It's probably echoey in here, so I am actually just gonna go to the toilet and I'll vlog back outside. I was so right about this airport, literally most people are in suits. It's just like a work vibe, very kind of corporate. Um, but yeah, I'm at my gate, there's an airplane landing. How fun, everyone is literally staring at me over the camera. Anyway, oh my gosh you guys, I have literally been in this airport all day. I am not even joking. All Day I have been here. I'll need to explain further when I'm actually in Berlin and when I'm with Angelo because I'm currently not with Angelo. We started our day together, um, but he is already in Germany in Berlin. I am still in London. We just thought we'd arrive together and I was like, I can work. So I literally edited a whole video. I'll just finish it on the plane. I just sat in prep literally for hours. I had my Mac plugged in, so that was good, it didn't die. I then went through security at like 4 p.m. My flight is at 6.30, but I think it's delayed slightly. Got some lunch, I'm filming a what I eat in a day short video. So yeah, for the foodies who wanna know what I've eaten today, um, I'm gonna get to Berlin. That'll be in that video. This is a very nice airport, by the way. It's a small airport. I've never been here before, as I've said, first time in London City Airport. Um, and yeah, it's nice. I just found the water refill station, so I've got water now. I'm just waiting again. There is actually really good Wi-Fi in this airport, so that's good. I've just been watching some YouTube videos, and then, as I said, I'll finish my video, and I will arrive in Germany, like, around 8, 9 p.m., then I have to get a train to the hostel to meet Angelo, and then we'll get dinner. That is the plan. But anyway, I will see you guys on the flight. So I made it onto my flight, but let's just say about four or five hours later, I was in a hotel in the centre of London. I just ate a ton of food and now I feel very full. Oh, oh. I'm actually so done with this day. I don't usually like to, you know, wish away time or days, but today... It's just been such a long day and like these past few hours have just mentally drained me. I've been on the verge of tears like about five times. I'm in a hotel, long story short, in London, not Berlin. And the hotel receptionist has just recognised me this evening from YouTube. So I'm just like, what? Like this day is mad. I don't even know where to start with this like story and explanation and what's gone on i also just want to cry ah <sighs> deep breath holy deep breath um the name of the hotel i have it on a piece of paper leonardo's i should be in germany i should be in berlin i really do want to cry but at the same time i'm just laughing because the whole thing is just it's just crazy and it's also never happened to me before so I was very clear this, but my flight was cancelled. You know, the plane did not reach the sky. The weather, as you guys saw, was like perfectly fine. We get on the train. No, not the train. Sorry, I can't think right now. It's like half 11 p.m. as well. Get on the plane. Everything seems normal. I didn't really realise that we're actually waiting for quite a long time. But the weather suddenly turned and there was this huge storm. There was lightning and like the aircraft crew were making these announcements and I was like, I did not see that coming. Our flight path would have taken us into the store, so they didn't do that obviously. Yeah, we waited and we waited and we waited and we had some updates every so often, but eventually we were told that the flight was canceled. They couldn't like divert our flight path because other flights were trying to divert the storm and the ground crew, what's it called? Oh, I just forgot, I was speaking to M. Um, the aircraft crew, what are they called? I can't remember what they're called, but they basically told our flight 
that we had to take the same path so we had to wait for the storm to pass and it was taking ages to pass it wasn't passing and if we had like delayed our flight so much we wouldn't have been able to take off at that point because it would have been too late and london city airport obviously stops flights earlier because it's like right in the center of london and noise pollution and all this stuff so yeah we rushed to the ba help desk we were just all handed sheets of paper i have some over there basically like explaining how the whole compensation thing works i thought you know i was like okay i'll just get on a flight tomorrow morning they'll put me on a flight but no the next flight and the flight that i am on to germany to berlin is saturday evening i wouldn't arrive until the evening before the marathon which is the worst thing like this is why i was so upset you know i wouldn't arrive until saturday evening we had plans for tomorrow we're in this really expensive hotel i haven't explained you know how i even entered for berlin marathon in the first place i've paid for that so i'm going to be missing that for one night but that's not even what i was upset about i was just simply upset because i'm not with angelo and we were so excited for this trip together you know it's his first time in germany his first like major marathon i won't be able to get to the running show now ah oh, like the whole thing i felt so stranded in this airport because i accepted their flight change because that would mean i could get expenses paid for so i booked this hotel they're paying for transport food i got an uber here from london city airport i've had to pay for it up front and then i'll hopefully get the money back um well they said they would so you know they better pay me back for this because it's not a cheap hotel i'm beyond the point of like crying now i think but like it's just I don't know obviously this happens and it's no one's fault at the end of the day like we can't change the weather but you know sometimes life just doesn't go your way mixed emotions right now there is so much more to explain maybe even not in this video but like in the actual Berlin ones when I eventually get there I'll show you guys this really bougie room this was supposed to be a hostel room door <laughs> but yeah welcome to my crib for the next two days you know could be a lot worse so i'm trying to stay positive well i am positive you know i just had to get that on my system i booked it really last minute on booking.com this is the main section it's kind of a nice color yellow and blue i just sat on the bed and creased it a bit but it's kind of carpet we have this like thing that opened i didn't find this initially but it has like um, a kettle and mugs stuff like that we have a tv i just sat at this desk here eating all my food charging my phone finally because i was about to die this thing has like a mini bar but i can't seem to open it and i think i need to activate it but i don't really think i'll be going to get any alcohol to be honest with you haven't actually looked in here so ooh, what the wow a light just automatically turned on i have a safe i have oh are these robes oh my gosh dressing gowns yes i'm gonna put one of those on um ironing board not gonna do any of that i realized oh my gosh i have angelo's hairbrush i have the toothbrushes in my bag and the toothpaste so angelo doesn't have certain things that i have because we weren't expecting this to happen obviously and then finally this is the bathroom so you know very nice bathroom lighting this is angelo's jumper that i'm wearing by the way i normally wear my patagonia jumper which was originally angelo's but he gave it to me um yeah this is another of his jumpers that i'm wearing because it kind of goes with my uh, new trousers which i haven't actually shown you guys officially in a vlog but anyway we have a toilet and um yeah shower bath thing so i'm gonna have a shower bath now but yeah i probably will finish my day with um a makeup bar banoffee which is like one of my favorite flavors and i also bought myself some Alpro almond milk. I was really hungry so I like ate really quickly and I feel like that's not made me feel too good. Like I had strawberries, raspberries, a whole tub of yogurt just now and then I had soup and tofu, so random but like I can't cook anything and I just kind of grabbed stuff because it was late. Well it is late. If you've made it through this section of the video I appreciate you. It is kind of worrying sometimes you know when airlines say they'll cover everything but they don't like specify if you have to spend a certain amount it just says they'll cover reasonable expenses like transport food and accommodation up to the new flight so obviously that's saturday evening for me sorry oops daisy sorry my battery just died but yeah i was just saying paying 250 pounds a night so just under 500 pounds for this hotel like on the fly 
and then you know hoping that they're gonna pay me back is kind of a little bit daunting when you do that oh that feels so nice do you ever take your hair out of like a tight ponytail or bun and it just feels so nice why does my hair look so strange right now look at this volume my hair also looks so short. This is just gonna start getting really weird if I don't stop vlogging now. So, you know. Uh, oh my god, this hotel. <laughs> By the way, did I did I say this? I don't think I have. It has a spa, it has a gym, it has a swimming pool. I booked that because I was like, what am I gonna do tomorrow? Obviously, I'm gonna work, I'm gonna explore London, just live my best life in London, and use the facilities in this four star hotel. But the thing is, ultimately, I would just prefer to be in Germany right now with Angelo. Like, I've been excited for this for such a long time. Yeah, I'm gonna have a shower. I um, woke up, it's currently 10 a.m. I did not sleep very well at all. Often you feel like your sleep is a lot worse than it is, but genuinely I felt like I didn't sleep at all. I'm going through a phase at the moment when I'm not sleeping, so that's one thing. And then the room was actually really hot. This air conditioning I was trying to get to work like twice just didn't work. Kept needing the toilet twice. So all in all, didn't have a great sleep. And that's why I decided not to get up when my alarm went off at like eight. The room is very nice. Like I've just opened the curtains. Um, spoke to Angelo, spoke to mom this morning. Obviously I'm in my robe and these slipper things. But yeah, what even is this aircon? Is apparently on, but the room is definitely not 18 degrees C. I'm gonna try and use this right now and then go out and get some breakfast. I've never used one of these coffee machine things but I'm pretty sure because I looked it up yesterday I don't think the pods have milk in it's just coffee and I have my own milk in my little cupboard you're probably like coffee holly what um I haven't fully explained and I was gonna make a whole video about like coffee and stuff like that and why I um enjoy drinking it now well i enjoy drinking it i really like coffee i'll go for this blue thing i was reading yesterday when i was eating all of this paperwork to do with like the expenses and the compensation in a nutshell i should get everything back please uh cross your fingers put a crossing fingers emoji in the comment section down below be a little coffee machine moment um what do i even do lift it up oh you lift up this thing okay like this Oh, oh, I like this flashing green. Oh wait, this might need water in. I think I should put water in this. According to like my coffee knowledge and what Angelo tells me, I think this is just crema on top, but it's very lightly colored. I don't know why I went for this one. I don't really want sweet coffee. I should have gone for the chocolatey one. I'm just trying these different coffees because, you know, I'm trying to make myself a coffee connoisseur at this point. That is some thick crema. Mmm, that one's nicer. So, I wasn't planning to be in London that day as we kind of have now established, but I found the notepad in the hotel, used that to make my to-do list for the day and decided that I just make a very productive day out of this spontaneous stay in the middle of London. left the hotel at like 11 30 but yeah i picked this area because angela and i come here a lot and i'm kind of familiar with it so i'm gonna try and find a prep just to grab something for breakfast Here's the pub. <laughs> key cards like physical key cards note to you guys you might know this but they are inactivated by your phone i've had it happen twice so i just had to go back down now anyway went to prep i got a ginger well turmeric orange turmeric and cayenne shot this is gonna be hot i got a banana i got a pot of fruit and then an acai pot thing with almond butter um i really like those from prep i'm gonna buy like my breakfast lunch and dinner 
from like individual places instead of getting bits all over the place so it's easier for me to submit like my claim but anyway that's gonna be my breakfast and then i'm gonna work i just spent loads of time before replying to so many friends that i hadn't replied to in a while and now i'm gonna finish the video and then after that i'll go to the gym i don't normally get stuff like this from prep because it's just really pricey um wow you can see the pepper in this oh my god whoa <laughs> that's so hot <coughs> <laughs> that woke me up so i ate my prep breakfast at my desk at my laptop i just did some emails worked on some editing felt really productive and then i went to the gym just to do a little bit of a workout and the hotel had a very nice fully equipped this is the gym. third time i kind of been activated and i'm still counting please see this works Woo. okay she has shoes everywhere whoa what is this lighting I just went to the gym. I did elliptical and a bit of running. My knee is getting so much better. Had it like started to get better sooner, I would probably still be running tomorrow. Well, not tomorrow, Sunday. And then I'll probably go back later because um, I just want to make the most of it. And it's a good gym. It has some weights, so I'll go back do some strength. Now I'm going to go get lunch, really. Just spoke to Angelo. He doesn't have a phone charger. I was going to go to... <laughs> salad project because i'm near spitalfields but i am so hungry right now um i don't know if anyone else gets this but like i will bloat i bloat a lot it's one of my main symptoms hormonally and stuff but i bloat sometimes if i haven't eaten like so i'm gonna go and try and get food quickly we're gonna take the laguna phuket marathon bag with my water in and yeah my key card was inactivated again okay. nana bomb bag linked below get yourself a nana <laughs> Farm bag. Yeah, update from Angelo's side as well. He's been to the running show, which I am now not going to be able to get to, which is so sad. It's in Flughafen. Uh, no, Flughafen. What am I talking about? It's in Tempelhof, which is an airport. So Flughafen in German. Anyway, so I don't normally shop in Waitrose in the UK because it's on the pricier side and there aren't any near me usually, but I got my lunch from there. And then I also went to Joe in the Juice DI Greens Juice because I also don't ever go to Joe in the Juice. Lovely weather. Great! Should not have got this juice. Like, it just started chucking it down. Um, it's not even that nice. Yeah. Not very nice. So I just put my food on the bed to show you um, because it's a little lunch haul. It's quite late now. I am quite late, but anyway, I went to Waitrose as you guys saw. I got this vegan poke bowl because I kind of thought that looked quite good. I just find a lot of satisfaction in buying reduced fruit. So I got some raspberries and reduced mango. There was a lot like reduced in Waitrose. Proper corn because I had popcorn yesterday and forgot how good it was. And then I also got a kind bar. I wanted like a Trek or Naked bar. I don't normally go for these ones, but this sounded quite good. Maple, pecan and almond um pretty sure this is vegan wait i didn't check it doesn't have honey in oh you know it has honey oh i didn't check that why didn't i check that holly why this is my bowl sushi rice edamame um mushroom things avocado and i assume this is like soy sauce yeah that's like a soy sauce and waitrose also did cutlery because i apparently forgot my cutlery oh sushi rice yes mmm have these like mushrooms in it look really good a little taste test mmm I was honestly exhausted that evening and I was definitely showing quite a few signs that I was stressed about the whole situation, my flight being cancelled and not getting to Berlin on time, but I did leave in the morning, well early afternoon really, to get to London Heathrow Airport because my flight had been rescheduled to there. It was later in the evening but I got to the airport well in advance, made sure that I was checked in through security and you know I did make my way to Berlin for the second time. I have number two to get to Germany. <laughs> I really hope this fight takes off. Well, luckily, and if you follow my Instagram, you'll know I made it to Berlin. So my next video will be the official Berlin Marathon vlog. Definitely stay tuned for that. But like this video if you enjoyed it anyway. Comment down below, subscribe if you are new. And as always, I'll leave you with a blue business. Speak to you very soon in another video. Bye, guys. Oh, oh, oh. Hey. That sounds nice. Your attention, please. Can passenger Stephen...
Return to the security search area. That's nothing to do with me. But anyway, I swear I heard security before being like, there's a passenger, the name is Emma Watson. And I was like, sorry, what? Emma Watson is here? Um, don't know if that's just somebody with the same name. So, oh my God, that really scared me. I just saw someone come up the stairs. Thank <laughs> you. 